You are held in Kolditz Castle, a World War II German POW camp, reserved for the elite of escapers and notables. The object of the game is to piece together a rope, key or tunnel escape chain and allow an escaper a home run to freedom. The escape chain is achieved by forming a tall row of four sequential cards in front of the player. That player becomes the outright winner. To win. A winning escape chain is made from playing two sequential escape cards of the same type numbered 1 and 2, either a rope, tunnel or key, then 3, an escaper, then 4, the home run. For example, rope 1, rope 2, escaper, 3, home run, 4. Setting the game up. Five cards are dealt to each player face down. Remaining cards are placed face down in a draw pile. Gameplay. A player starts by picking up a card from the draw pile, then playing a card, establishing a discard pile. Play passes to the dealer's left. Players must not hold more than five cards after any go. They must discard any excess cards of their choice to the discard pile. They have no effect as they are discarded. If you have less than five cards on your go, you may pick up without playing or discarding. The cards. Escape card number one, rope, tunnel or key. If you hold a number one card, you must place it in front of you immediately before your actual go. Escape card number two, rope, tunnel or key. This must be laid on a corresponding number one card as soon as the opportunity arises. You still have your go. A number three escaper card can also be played at this time or you may choose to protect the number three escaper and hold it in your hand as a tactic. Home run card number four. This card cannot be laid on the same go as an escaper. It's still some distance to the border so you must wait one turn as this gives opponents one chance to stop your attempt. Special parcel cards used in place of number one or number two. Much prized, these cards can be used in place of any missing number one or number two escape cards. If used as a number one, it can be laid on any go and it does not have to be named which attempt type it is. This changes when a rope, tunnel or key card is placed underneath it as it inherits that escape type. You can use two parcel cards to form a complete chain. Its type remains unknown. Appel cards. Roll call. Play this card to have all your opponent's visible escapers return to their hand. Traitor card. A rat amongst us. One opponent of choice has to return all escape cards to the discard pile. And that includes all rows, parcels and escapers. Shoot escaper cards. Pick any opponent's played escaper card and return it to the discard card. Take cover cards. Next opponent misses one go. Surprise search. Opponents caught in possession. Choose a random card from each opponent's concealed hand until you hold five cards in total. Therefore, play this card if you need more cards. Confiscation orders. Choose and keep any one visible card, either any one of an opponent's played escape cards or one from the top of the discard pile. If you can see it, you can take it. If you confiscate an opponent's escape card, their chain collapses at that point. Any cards on the end return to the owner's hand and the remainder of the chain stays put. Major search cards. Nominate one player to show everyone their hand. Searchlight cards. Take one opponent's end escape card of the type named. This may well be in the number one or the number two card depending on how much of the escape chain exists. Any escapers on the end return to the owner's hand. Remainder of chain stays put. Commandeer cards. Ask any one opponent for a particular card from their hand. For example, number two rope card. If they hold the card, they must give it to you. If they do not, too bad. Play moves on. Diversion cards. You can play this card quickly at any time, even if it's not your turn. It burns or stops the effect of any card except the escape cards just laid and their circumstances. 
Another diversion can be played on the diversion to reverse it, etc. Play then passes to the next natural player, playing with more than four players. Use a diversion card placed at the top of any escape chain to protect the cards underneath from any card apart from a confiscation order, which takes it away. Add more packs of cards to the set for more players. You can all decide how many home runs constitute an outright winner. Four, six or eight players you can form national teams, for example British, French, Polish etc. Whereby you can also add to your partner's escape chain and as a team thwart the other team's attempts. Please visit www.getoutofcolditz.com for more information.